imagine thousands of people working all day long in the trout. Or just digging dry dirt all day long. 13 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. We did it, we complete the entire water reservoir and that was a part of this uh, slave camp basically. <laughs> Coming back, looking at this, I just, I don't know how I'm gonna get anybody to believe this story. <laughs> I don't know how I'm gonna get my children to believe this story. It looks so peaceful right now. This is incredible. This was the killer piece. This is Bat Kampopre. It's the temple that the Khmer Rouge converted into the hospital. Very, very cool hospital. Basically a place to, for people to die. And uh, this is where my mother died. And I had no idea uh, where she's buried. Thank you, Thai. Chua Oi Sumrach Dal Ne Oi Man Chab Ru Ran Tan Chet Sape Boren To Sang Kapa Som Lom Rath Tra Ti Puong. This is a place where I spend my summer. I'm, I'm getting goosebumps just think about this. Oh man. Um, you know, as, as a little kid, I ran around all over this place by myself. And all of this was before the Khmer Rouge. And uh, now I'm coming back to look at what this place had turned into. Laang Gaib. Laang means cave. Gaib means frog. So this is a frog cave. This is where the Khmer Rouge killed the little babies. Oh man, the smell. I don't I can't even stand the smell. Alright, that's enough. I <laughs> there are leaves in Cambodia that actually put down roots and, and grow into a tree. Symbolically that's what I did, is putting down roots and then I became a tree. I survived and that kind of gave me the idea of what a golden leaf is.